Hello, welcome to our tutorial on getting started with rundowns in Dramatify. Today, we're diving into how you set up and utilize rundowns to streamline your production workflow. Rundowns are a versatile tool used across a wide range of productions, from entertainment and sports to talk shows, galas, children's programming, performances, and live events. Dramatify's Rundown tool has four distinct views to cater to various needs and user groups. Each view integrates seamlessly with the others, ensuring a cohesive workflow regardless of your role in the production. The script view is a distraction-free writing space for scriptwriters, reporters, hosts, and anchors. It's an ideal starting point for writer-driven content creation. The grid view is tailored for production managers and coordinators enabling quick program outlining and organization. It's superb for format shows and sports. The technical rundown aggregates all information and is the main working view during technical planning, rehearsals, recording, live broadcasts, and streaming. The camera cards view is specifically designed for camera operators, allowing them to filter by camera numbers and focus solely on the shots relevant to them. For productions spanning multiple episodes, the Rundown also features an episode header packed with vital technical information for your team. Explore our series and episode video tutorial for more details. Let's set up your first Rundown. First, we click Script in the sidebar menu, and here we can add our first Rundown. If you are working on a multi-episode production, the label will instead read Scripts and Episodes. You first need to add an episode by clicking Add Episode. Add a title in the episode form and click Save. You can add more information later. Now you are on the page to add your first rundown. Click Add in the section for Multicam Script and Rundown, and you will be sent straight to set up your first rundown. Formatting your rundown is easy. Just choose and click. I will show you an iPad side-by-side -side view so you can immediately see what each setting does. You can, at any time, go back and modify the settings. The settings let you select which content containers and functions to include in your rundown. It's important to know that when turning off a setting, you don't delete any existing content. You merely hide the content field and its content, and you can turn it on at any time. From the top, in the General section, you'll find Script Notes, which are the notes on top of the Technical Rundown and the Grid View. Here, you can add important notes to your team that can be updated as needed. Click the button to turn them off, or add an initial note if you like. The Script Notes can also be written and edited in the Rundown and Grid Views. You will find the main content settings of your rundown in the scene section. Do you want to include scene numbers and shot numbers? Numbers automatically renumber when you reorder the scene order. If you have a custom numbering system, you can turn scene numbers off and instead include the number in the scene header and manually renumber when you change the order. The synopsis is used in the technical rundown and call sheets to differentiate scenes from each other if they have similar headings. You can also use it in the rundown during the idea stage to write a short description of what the scene should contain. The source is usually among the most critical information for your team. From where is the content coming? Finished material as EVS, live, graphics, or an online interview? Dramatify offers several sources with different background colors so your team quickly learns what each color means. The source written out below the scene number always accompanies the color. You can also add custom sources in gray with a label. Event times are helpful if you work with a live event with starting and finishing times. Typical examples are sports competitions and live performances, where the event may start an hour or more before your show starts or where you mix different sports competitions and must keep track of each race's real-time start and finish time. Feed and audio are useful if you have incoming content or broadcast feeds.
click the button to turn off. Scene notes are notes per scene below the scene content that can also include an image. These are great for communicating instructions or notes to the team. In the next section, you can decide whether to add cast and set to your scenes and blocks. Note that cast is required for correct cue card and teleprompter formatting, and sets are required to add items like props, set designs, 3D set, and floor plans, as well as creating call sheets with correct shooting location addresses, driving directions, and weather reports. Shot columns are where you add your detailed content, from dialogue and action to camera instructions, music, light effects, and more. Decide which information to include and set the column order. Note that camera numbers are necessary if you want to use camera cards. Screens may require an explanation. They refer to background screens, projections, and similar, and you can have up to three screens simultaneously. Notes are notes per shot, which helps communicate creative or technical details to your crew. The timing information is, of course, vital to any rundown. The duration is displayed in all four views and refers to how long each scene should be. The running time shows the accumulated time, adding durations as the show progresses. The real time is the actual time each scene or segment should start, or when a hard break, a news break, for example, must happen. The reverse time is the duration counting backwards, so you always see how much time you have left. To use reverse time, you must add a correct total duration that Dramatify can base the count on. The interface settings help you work the way you want. Clicking the button next to Show Icons in Shot Columns turns off the icons identifying dialogue, action, camera, music, and special effects in the shot list. The following setting, editing scene content in the script view or the rundown, is important. By default, writing action, dialogue, voiceover, and scene instructions are set to the script view, so it's easy to write a rundown script. At the same time, in the technical rundown, the director can turn this content into shots and add technical information like camera numbers and instructions, audio, music, graphics instructions and such. If you change the editing scene content setting to rundown, you move editing of action and dialogue from the script view to the technical rundown and have the option of locking out writers such as script writers, reporters, hosts and anchors to prevent unsanctioned late changes. To set up this option, your writers should have the role of content editor in their access settings. I will go through this at the end of the video. You can also jump to the Setting Up Access chapter on the video timeline. If you don't care about using the script view but want to write in the rundown from the start, set this to rundown from the beginning. The next setting is Lock Scenes on Edit. Scene editing in Dramatify works in two ways. In the script view, one user at a time can write and edit as the script is regarded as one text document. If attempting to write when another team member is already writing, Dramatify will warn you that the script is locked for the moment. This feature prevents a user's text from being overwritten by somebody else. In the technical rundown, on the other hand, multiple users can work simultaneously as each scene or segment is a separate unit. By default, multiple team members can edit rundown scenes at the same time. Dramatify will warn if somebody else is editing the same scene or segment you want to edit. If you want to prevent overwriting, set lock scenes on edit to on. While this may sound like the best option, a word of warning. If a team member is editing a scene and leaves it open without saving, it can lock up editing of that scene for the entire team until the scene is either saved or editing is canceled. The locked scene numbers option allows you to retain scene numbers even if reordering your rundown. Most commonly, some shows use this option close to broadcasting. If the team often refers to the content by scene number, locking scene numbers may avoid confusion 
even if inserting new scenes or reordering scenes means a rundown with scene numbers out of order. The last setting is for teleprompter exports and synchronization. Note that teleprompter file download is only available for some plans and that automatic synchronization with teleprompters to studios is an enterprise feature. Talk to our sales department if you are interested in that. If you turn on the teleprompter export, you can download a file formatted for MOS, Media Object Server, Autoscript, and AutoCue teleprompters. Regardless of your subscription plan and the teleprompter setting, you always have the option to download a plain text file for other uses. Remember to click Save and you can start creating your first rundown. To round off this tutorial, let's discuss access levels for different team members. You can allow team members to only read the rundowns, write in a limited manner, or have full access. To follow along, click Crew in the sidebar. Then, click the Add Crew button and select Add New Crew Member. At the bottom of the first section, click on Select Access Level. As you see in the drop-down, we have three main types of access for your team. Full access for production admins and key team members, tailored access for those needing to work on specific parts of the production, and read-only access for users who only need to access and read the content of certain sections. Let's select Tailored Access, and let's scroll down to Scripts and Episode Access. Now, to let this team member only read your rundowns, regardless of whether they have tailored access or read-only access, check the box next to Scripts and Episode. Below, you see the alternatives for team members who will work with the rundowns. Here, you can select either full access to add, edit, and delete episodes, scripts, and scenes, or content editor. The content editor role is made for script writers, reporters, hosts, and anchors who should be able to write content such as voiceovers, dialogue, and scene action, but not touch the technical details. It limits the user to writing and editing in the script view as long as that is helpful for the production. Close to broadcast, you can move content editing to the technical rundown, thus barring content editors from making any unsanctioned changes. When you set your team member's access level, remember to save at the end of the page. In the rundowns, you can also check who has access to what and quickly add or remove access to specific team members. Click on the page menu and this works both in the script view and in the rundown view and select access. At the top, you can see who has access to read the rundown and in the lower part, who has access to read, write and change information in the rundown. To remove a team member, click the black X after their name to add a team member, search for them in the search bar and click to add. If you want to add a completely new team member, you must first go to crew or cast and invite them. You'll find the access list to the grid view and the camera cards in the rundown view. It's the same access. To summarize, the settings determine what content you can add to your rundown and you can modify the automatic features and settings at any time. You must first add an episode to create a rundown in a multi-episode production. Rundown access is essential to give users the right tools. That's all for this tutorial. We offer a free trial at Dramatify.com. And remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow if you liked it. Bye for now.